been ignored, not having anywhere to go. When my missus is pregnant, not being able to provide for her my kid. Hi angels, welcome back to another video and if you're new here, karibu sana, my name is Akot and this is Akot TV. Now in today's video, we're going to try something new and then I'm going to see how you guys will react to it. If you like it, we'll do a lot more of these videos. So I'm actually going to do a reaction video from the title. I've not watched it, but from the title, it's the story of a young man who is homeless in London. Okay, and so we are going to listen to his story. You move on from there. I'm 22 years old. I've been on this for almost two months now. Well, I was living with my mum down in Broadway Market. My mum was the only family I've had in my entire life. My mum was a heroin addict and crack addict. My mum passed away due to overdose. So this young man used to live with his mother, who apparently was an addict, and then she went to be with the Lord. So from what I'm getting so far, sorry, this video is a bit noisy, but it's okay. We can work through it. So what I'm getting from his story is that uh, he used to depend on the mother, I think. The mother used to probably take care of any, everything, but the mother went to be with the Lord and then he was left unable to do anything for himself. Very severe depression, lost my job, was an to pay my rent and ended up being made homeless. Um, I've gone to every council, every charity. Oh, so from what I'm getting, sorry, he used to have a job. But then when the mother went to be with the Lord, he got into depression and then he lost his job. So sometimes I think uh, even in schools, people, I'm so sorry about the flickering light. I don't know. There's really nothing much I can do about it because when I switch it off, it gets a bit dark. But anyway, you guys just bear with me. So he went into depression and like i was saying i think in the school system people need to be taught on how to grieve you know especially when someone loses a loved family member i think people should be coached uh, if that's the word they should use on how to mourn because again when someone is gone one of the your loved one is gone there's really nothing you can do about it but you just need support and help on how you can you know manage to live with the loss of a loved one because when this guy goes into depression he loses his job and now uh, he becomes homeless and i think that's a very sad affair and it goes back to the education system and from what i'm picking here you know for a long time it's been like only in africa you'll find trouble it's only in africa where people are homeless it's only in africa where people don't have food they're hungry diseases and all this but we can clearly see right now that it is possible to be homeless anywhere in the world you can be homeless in america you can be homeless in canada you can be homeless in any african country so again that's why i always choose to be neutral i mean it depends it doesn't matter wherever life takes you if you move to canada and you're comfortable they are good for you if you're living in an african country and you're settled enough good for you so whatever life takes you and it works for you me i'm not seeing any problem with people's movement all right so let's carry on because I'm not under 18, not on drugs, not an alcoholic or a woman who's pregnant, I'm not seen as vulnerable, I'm not seen as priority in the government size. So I'm basically just being dosed off by the government and left to rot. So apparently, from what he's saying, because he's not under 18, he's not a minor. And because of that, the government will not take him in. Like he cannot go to care or anything because he's assumed to be an adult. So nothing much can be done for him and he's left to fund for himself make a living for himself and then unfortunately the mother is also not there my mum passed away almost uh, almost 11 months ago now all of that i started to spiral down hit depression lost my job uh, broadway market Pownall road number 17. he's so innocent he's even giving the exact location of where he used to live but it's it's unfortunate the way he handled his uh, mother's passing on and uh, given that Oh my God, they had responsibilities. He needed to keep his job to take care of himself. But what happened, happened. It wasn't easy. I had a drug addict mother. I was on my own. I was suicidal, depressed. I just felt alone all the time. I was from work, back to home, from work, back to home, just all day, every day. So I think, again, it all goes back to parenting. If you have a child, 
son or daughter as a parent you need to take care of them i mean if you're an addict as a parent what do you expect out of your child because i'm thinking this poor young man already was stressed even when the mother was there because she was an addict and i think he was probably struggling to manage his own life because if someone who is supposed to be your mentor is taking a different direction in life it must be very hard for this young man I used to work at zz's and saint Catherine's docks scary of course for someone who is used to going to his own job and sleeping on a comfortable bed first night of being homeless obviously he's supposed to be scared i mean it's just being human it must be scary it's just being human it must be very scary for him i didn't know what to do i didn't talk to anyone i just in all honesty i didn't have any blankets so i went searching around clothes bins and stuff like that in all honesty i didn't even find any blankets but i found loads of clothes and just kind of covered myself over with that wait a minute he used to work before his mother used to have a home before she passed on and if he used to work he probably he of course he used to work used to live in a apartment so i'm thinking he had beddings so how comes now he's saying he didn't have beddings he didn't have anything nothing 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 that part i do not understand because if he was living in a house so unless he lost his house plus everything in the house and then the mother passed on and everything went missing because I think he should be moving around even if he's homeless then he should at least have his own clothes and beddings the ones he used to have when he was living in an actual house so that part i really don't get it but it's not up to me to judge the ones i fit put them on over the clothes i had just to try and keep warm and thin it wasn't easy it was it was probably the scariest day of my life really. and um, you know you told me earlier that you have your missus as well yeah um and she's been homeless longer than you wait a minute this guy is married and the lady has been homeless longer than him him yeah where, where are you guys currently sleeping a uh, lay street car park kilford in the car park no we're just literally we've got a couple of well we've got a few blankets laid down and then we've got two blankets over us so imagine living in london in the streets of london and then it's winter and they have two blankets to put on the floor on the ground and two other blankets to cover themselves with now you can imagine how hard the surface is being homeless is tough and i really hope that this guy gets some help soon because what is going through for a man with a lady next to him to be homeless it's tough it's not embarrassing but for him he will naturally feel embarrassed so it must be very hard for him and his lady emotionally as well like i can almost feel their pain it's really really unfortunate the toughest part about being homeless being ignored being ignored not having anywhere to go when my missus is pregnant not being able to provide for him my kid he actually gets emotional i mean it's very sad and the toughest part of it you know what is actually making him get emotional is the fact that people are ignoring him people ignore him together with his wife and the wife is even pregnant this young man is in trouble and the way he is young but then how does he get out from the situation where he is right now i'm scared i'm about to be a dad and i don't know what to do because we're out on the streets we get messed around by the council saying run away and this can take up it's normal it's okay to cry when things are hard and you don't know what to do again it's okay to come out and say that you don't know what to do and just cry it out it helps because then uh, he will not get to a situation where by now he's thinking about hurting himself so when he talks like that and then he can cry about it at least it's helping him release the pressure from him but you can imagine how hard it is for this young man for him to be crying during an interview it's hard and like i said before life can be hard irrespective of which corner in the world you are at mom the mom could be too late the beginning of the pregnancy is the hardest part it's the part that is most important i don't know what to do i'm walking around begging trying my best I'm getting nowhere. I'm getting ignored constantly like I'm invisible. Now, when he talks about walking around begging, this is someone who used to work before and I'm thinking he used to have a job. It's not in my place to judge, but is it not possible for him, instead of begging, he could go out somewhere and look for a job instead? But I don't know his situation. I know he's at um, 
very hard place and is probably also confused especially with the baby coming so you can imagine being a man with a wife and a baby looking at you both of them asking for food it must be a very hard situation what about your family did they not try and help you my mom was the only family i've ever had the only family his mom was the only family he ever had so this young man never knew his dad or the dad had left them or did he pass away or raised the dad and the mother she didn't have parents and maybe siblings and the dad what is happening this i don't know what's happening he's alone in the world with only his mother and the mother leaves and he's left one person standing like this that's a bit tricky i would call it a tricky situation it must be tough because he feels alone in the world there's no one to run to there's no one to talk to and the society ignores him the government cannot help because he is um, an adult he's supposed to take care of himself so like i said i was work home work home i've never had a social life i was always taking care of my mom because when my mom passed away i hit depression i didn't want to face a light of day i mean my mom weren't a great mom but my mom was my best friend she was all like i like the way he's saying his mom was not a great mom but she was his best friend and the fact that he did not have friends how do you live life without friends at all like not even one friend okay again i'm not trying to judge but life outside there could be a bit hard if you may say so because this guy only used to go to work go back home and take care of his mom and again as a mother you don't want to always subject your children to taking care of you 24 7 because when they grow up they also get responsibilities they get married they have children so they need to get their own to live their own lives as well so if your child takes care of you all the time i mean it's not it's not fair but again for this guy not to have friends so it means he spent all his time either taking care of his wife or taking care of the mom so the guy did not have a chance to live for himself which again is very unfortunate so no friends no one to run to no one to talk to you know i think sometimes as much as we are busy irrespective of how life is going on we just need to find time and just and just make friends make friends at least one friend you can call when things seem to be going gray perhaps no right my mom and my dad so is it, is it because of addiction that she lost her life my mom took her own life deliberately his mom took her own life how sad is that like how do you live with that even as a child oh my goodness this guy has seen it has seen it like how is he supposed to feel he was there for the mother taking care of her and then the mother hurt herself i am speechless i am speechless I mean, even if things are super, super hard, the last thing you want to think about is take your own life because it's not just about you. There are people who love you. There are people who care about you. So when you're hurting yourself, you're hurting many other people as well. I mean, that's very, very unfair. What's the nicest thing someone has done for you? Probably this. <laughs> In all honesty, probably this. No one has ever done anything nice for this guy. He's being asked anything nice that someone has ever done to you. He's saying probably this. So the interview... Is the only good thing that has happened to him so far but everyone in the streets everyone is ignoring him now when you think about everyone this uh, everyone ignoring him i think in africa it is different people will always say hi people will always drop some coins but you can never ever be ignored a hundred percent in africa it does not happen and you can take that to the bank but in london people are being ignored like this no one cares it's like you don't exist i think it's a very sorry state very sorry situation i have to say it. it's, it's like i'm invisible it's literally the hardest you ever had to do it it literally does hurt and it hurts to realize i've been one of them people it's sad it's um it's one thing to see people living in the streets and it's another thing to be living in the streets yourself so it must be very hard very very hard especially the part of being ignored and i think that is what is really getting getting to him he feels like the society has abandoned him no one cares he's been left to live his own life alone i think that is what is really bringing him down what would you say is the most horrible thing someone has done to you since you've been on this probably punch me for asking for a bit of change someone punched him for asking for change for money that's unfortunate if someone is asking you for money why punch them why not just say i don't have 
and walk away or you don't even have to waste your energy saying i don't have why don't you just walk away you punch someone for asking for change that's a bit embarrassing i don't know whether i pronounced that right but it's very unfortunate i mean the least you can do is just ignore and walk away like he said he's being ignored so that's kind of normal to him people are ignoring him but punching now that's going to another level no word of a lie, I got punched. I was in Shoreditch and I literally just stopped a group of guys and said, Excuse me, guys, it's, I'm sorry to ask, is there any chance you just spare a little change explains my story? And one of them turned around to me and went, You're a sick cunt, and went smack, hmm. thinking I was lying or something, I don't know. But. Well, without even asking your story, yeah, or, just, you know, your situation. Bang. You don't do that to another human being. You don't assume they're lying, especially if you don't know them. I mean, the society is all corrupted. People lie all the time. It's almost becoming normal, a normal thing for people to lie. Some, there are people who do not even have pressure lying. Like, it doesn't bother them. They just lie. But again, you cannot just go assuming that everyone else is lying. It's not okay. You know, if you had a magic wand, Luke, what one wish would you ask for? My missus and my child have a place to live. Don't care about my school. They all I care about right now. One last wish he would like to have is for his lady and his baby, his coming baby, to have a place to live. He does not care much about himself, which makes a lot of sense given that coming to think of where he's come from, how his mother used to be, as much as she was his best friend, he was probably not one of the best role models but they were friends and then what she did and for him to still be thinking about his other and his child he's a good young man and it's just a matter of time he will find energy he will find luck he will find his guardian angel who will one day sooner or later get him out of this situation so it's a very sad situation indeed but we realize that these things are happening anywhere in the world so this notion of everything bad happens in africa i hope that will stop one day with time in future i don't know other than that i've really enjoyed myself just watching this video and giving out my mind i don't know that is what is called reaction video yeah i've really enjoyed doing this it was really really nice but i really wish this young man all the best and all the possible luck that could be outside there thank you so much angels for spending time with me and if you have not subscribed to this channel please do subscribe comment like share do all those nice things and remember it's positive vibes only and i'll see you all in the next video bye